I try to I try to keep one first swing yeah. if I can if I don't forget right. So on the right, there's your very very high P2, and you know you talked about it how you don't feel a sense of you know so set up on the left. Let's take a look. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. So yeah, way better. So that's what's way better. What do you see? I see a club where the grooves are way more parallel at the bottom. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I see a club where there's yeah. way more opportunity to hit yeah. square shots. Yeah. Easy peasy, right? We can put a little line right on there. Whoops. You know, so that that's a big difference. You know, a couple three degrees down at the bottom is a big difference, because there's your toe hits versus your opportunity to have some centered ones. Yeah, that's good. Up the toe. Yeah, so you know, to to continue the theme of, you know, I wish I was I wish I was a I, I had serum that I could just give you and all of a sudden you're amazing. <laughs> Okay, you know, the, to continue the theme of what you're doing nicely, I think the part of it is in the, in the setup. You know, if we, when you get in here, if you look at that screen on the, on the, t on the wall or on the, you know, you want to feel, even though you can kind of hold the ball in there, you want to feel like, see my right elbow is a little softer and you can see my left forearm from down the line rather than I see a little bit of, you know, a little high right shoulder with you. You know, and then it, and then this tends to get a little un, underturned. You know, I think I want to add a. I like to see this be a little softer. So you know, the club's off the ground. The the you know, in the golf machine terminology, the right forearm would be a little closer to the club shaft. So see how my right forearm is high compared to the club shaft. See how it's a little bit more matched, not dead and dead nuts matched, but just a little closer to it. Right, and then as you go into your backswing, you're gonna try to feel like you're doing a pretty extreme. There's a very mindful tightening of those left obliques, you know, like you're crunching this way, right? Because I think you got yourself into kind of a no crunch situation, right? So if you, when you're swinging it, if you think about, okay, there's my pelvis, my square feet, not closed feet, square feet, and when you go, you know, bend your right elbow, you feel like your weight's going to your right side, but to counter that. And to feel a bit more 50-50 or 55-45 even, you know, as my pelvis moves just a hint over my left foot, now I can have a little softer lower right shoulder in a pretty deep turn because I've got a, a better crunch there, right? So go back to P3 and a half and really feel a good crunch, like your right sh left shoulder goes down. Like that's really good and crunched. Awesome. Okay. Dynamite. It looks great. And I know it's like, Martin, it doesn't feel good. And that's the problem, right? Like everybody wants just to, f it's got to all, quote, feel right. The, the reality is, you know, I think, it, I forget who said it, but it was, you don't build mechanics through feel, you build feel through mechanics, okay? So the mechanism of feeling that sense of tightness and getting the reps in and what feels good, after a while, like, that'll feel good to you. Because you you know, like, to, to be strong, something's got to, you have to have a muscles working, don't you? Yeah, I mean, yeah, all, any sort of, any kind of thing where you're doing any ball throws, like, you know, like my my trainer and I, he throw. You know, I lie on my I lie on the floor. He tosses me a ball. I catch the ball. I throw the ball back to him. You know what I'm saying? Like all those are the best. 
any kind of like those dead those dead medicine balls that you can go and just thump onto the ground, those are great, right? Because you're just doing it one way and do it to the side. You know, throw it hard here, throw it hard. A 10-pound ball, pick it up and throw it on the ground 10 times, you'll be gassed, be awesome. Like you, you work out of your house, right? Yeah, so get those medicine balls that don't bounce. Perfect, pick it up. You know, do 10 here, do 10 here, and, and good luck in finishing 10 here. I mean it, because by the time you're in 15 of them, you'll be like, are you effing kidding me? You'll be gassed, and you, you know, do 5, 5, and 5 to start, because 10, 10, and 10 will kill you. Yeah, you know, I mean, like all that stuff, I, you know, you just got to, you know, get the muscle to be, I, I just want you feeling like you can, you know, crunch that muscle and welcome it. Yeah. That looks awesome. You know, you know, put your, let your eyes go on the ball, right? But put your mind in that exactly what you just showed me and hit one. Okay. Okay. Let's watch, um, let's compare it to, where is that one? This one? Oh, I, I don't know that it, you know, I'm not a big fan of. Right, no, no, practice speed's good. But that's, that's nice. I mean, that looks way better, you know, compared to, you know, this is, there's some more lifting going on here. And it wasn't awful. It, there's just no side bend on this, right? Yeah. yeah. Go back uh, to address on that one from the left. Yeah. Okay, now go back up. Yeah, my head's not, my head's staying pretty still. Yeah, so, you know, the, the thing that keeps the head still is a sense of compression this way. Yeah. Right, that's what's going to let your left shoulder stay down a bit more in the shot. You know, to me, that looks great. You're in good control of the golf club. The big difference, you know, from then and now is just simply watch what happens in transition here. Like your elbows start to come apart more, right? Oh, yeah. You know, and so and now it's way more organized. Club shallows out great. You know, so this is this is good. And then your pelvis is unwinding. This is very good. And the club's coming through parallel to the ground. Yay. You're going to hit good shots. Yeah. You know, the exit's not as up in your face as it was. Right? Sure. But look where, you know what I'm saying? Like it's... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 You know, for you, like you're, you hit a bunch of draws out there, I would mix up your practice and say, okay, can I start it straight and let it fade a little bit? Can, you know, can I hit a little softy that doesn't always turn over? Right? Can you, you know, you feel like you're turning the corner. That's, that's a good expression for it. Right? Can the ball go and just fall a little to the right? That means that you're, you know, you got a little bit of a path that's, you know, tick left of back, you know, the face is square, the path is a couple degrees left, ball start pretty straight and bleed a little to the right, you know, because I certainly like that look more than this one, right? Like this is, you know, that right arm's way up in your face, so, you know, good stuff.